Hello again, this is Susan Olson, your instructor with BSCOM 435, here to give you some tips on how to maximize your grade for the week five team presentation on creativity training. So imagine you are consultants or a group of lead employees that have been selected to put together a training program that will inspire creativity at your organization. You have could select a topic that would be, for instance, creativity and leadership, creativity and marketing, creativity in sales. The idea is that you will use some of the training approaches that you've been reading about in the chapters and apply them via communicating in a you know, in-person presentation. Assume that this presentation will be something that the employees take home, take back to their work sites, and the key bullet points on the presentation slides will trigger their memory and let them find in the notes more detail about your approach. So you would start with an introduction, talking about the organization and the goal for the presentation and the goal for the training program. The goal would be, for instance, to inspire creativity in leaders and potential leaders, as well as recruiting employees with creative leadership potential. Then you would have a slide on the case study overview. In that, you, in the notes for that slide and on the bullet points on your slide, you would talk about the studies that have shown that lead, leaders can inspire uh, creativity in potential leaders and other employees in their organization by doing the following activities. Then you would have a top topic to be covered called creativity in action. So creativity is needed and can be supported by troubleshooting, brainstorming activities. What we'll have is day-to-day -day activities that we would in, in, introduce into our organization. Then you'd have a simulation training uh, slide where you'd say, let's give it a try with role-playing a situation. That can be a very useful experience to make sure that the approach resonates with employees and that they're comfortable with it. You would also want to do something, uh, a slide which would cover how you would onboard um, employees of your organization in terms of recruiting for cre creativity. That's very important because you can change your recruiting approach in order to attract the right types of potential leaders into your organization. And then a conclusion, a reasonable conclusion, and perhaps a plan for revisiting the training program and getting feedback on it from the employees once they try using it. So that is my uh, set of tips for your week five team presentation. Please let me know if you have any questions. You can reach me by text 505-328-2397, by email, and by message in our classroom. Thank you for listening. I look forward to your presentations.